Hi everyone, if you want to watch a Dutch guy mispronounce some Japanese names in English, then this is the video for you. I am talking about these two art prints for Ghost of Tsushima, Monkey Onsen and The Legend of the Demon Killing Bow. The two prints I have here in front of me are concept art pieces from Ghost of Tsushima, the hit open world PlayStation Samurai game. These images were made by artist Ian Jun Huichi, who was lead concept artist at Sucker Punch Productions during the development of Ghost of Tsushima. In the game, you play as a samurai trying to free the island of Tsushima from Mongol invaders. One of the goals for the visual design of the game was to authentically communicate the beauty of 13th century Japan, while still also making a striking action game and to let the artists flex their creative muscles. There is naturally some tension between strict authenticity, creative expression and homage. Just realism would be too boring, so for example, the artist on Ghost of Tsushima added bold colors such as the golden trees, the red leaves and white flower fields, with spectacular results. The quest for this stylized authenticity in Ghost of Tsushima started with research into the Kamagura era the game is set in. Japanese culture, old samurai films and the invasion of Tsushima, which is a historic event that really happened. And that led to the final designs of the characters, outfits, landscape, architecture, etc. A lot of the references were gathered from museum exhibits and photos taken by studio teams visiting Tsushima as well as the main island of Japan. Legend of the Demon Killing Bow and Monkey Onsen are made in Japanese woodblock print style. The most famous example of that is arguably The Great Wave of Kanagawa by Hokusai. Woodblock printing is a technique that was widely adopted in Japanese history, whereby an image or text is drawn on a sheet of paper and that paper is pressed against the wood surface. The lines of the image are then chiseled out of the wood and the image part of the wood is then inked and now you have a sort of press to put to paper. This technique is not dissimilar to woodcut printing in the West, but the Japanese use water-based inks mostly instead of the oil-based dyes used in the West, giving the Japanese images a completely different look. These highly decorative pieces make a great addition to any home. Legend of the Demon Killing Bow also won a Spectrum Silver Award. Unfortunately, that print is already sold out, but from Monkey Onsen, we still have some copies available at the time of filming. Thank you for watching.